Hi, my name is Keisha Marisma and I am the founder of Zhuzh. I am a creator, I am a stylist, I am an educator, I am a student, I am a daughter, and I am a child of the diaspora. I feel the most empowered when I am working with the youth. I feel most empowered when I am working with artisans. I feel most empowered when I am amongst women like my mother, like my auntie, like my grandmother, like my best friends, um, when I'm around my community, when I am learning and when I am teaching. That's when I feel the most empowered. I empower women. Um, I am a firm believer of the power of your tongue and the power of manifestation. I've seen it in my life. So I empower women by letting them know whatever you want, you really can get. Just say it, be mindful about how you talk to yourself. Um, uh, be mindful about the words that come out of your mouth. And I empower women that way, like, no, you can do that, because I did it, and if I did it, you can do it. I know it sounds really cliche, but I really am a living testimony. And that's how I empower women, by letting them know, like, you're limitless, you're bold. Go out there and do it. There's nothing that can stop you. You just have to be mindful about the words and the energy that you put out, because what you put out, you will get. So, yeah, that's how I empower women. If I can do it, you can do it. Be bold. Be mindful, be empowered, be love, be you. Women's History Month for me is, well, the history of Women's Month when it first started in like 1900 something, I don't know. Um, it was really for white women if we want to be completely honest. So now in 2022, Women's History Month means a little different for me because I see my beautiful sisters doing amazing thing and getting recognition for it. Not as much as I would like to, but we are on our way and I love seeing women who look like me, who talk like me, who dress like me, who has hair like me, doing such beautiful things and getting recognition for it. And younger girls who look like us and who come from us are seeing a way like, okay, I can do it myself. So Women's Month now in 2020 is a beautiful thing for me because it really is highlighting beautiful women and regular women, not just the inventors or the Rihannas, but the grandma who lives on the block and who is a babysitter for everyone so people can go out and work. Women's Month to me means to really celebrate the women who are changing the world and making us better physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and we're highlighting them um, every day, but this month is really the month to really just show our gratitude and appreciation. I chose the word bold because that's who I am. I stand out in the crowd, I'm 5'10", and I wear print. I wear color, my hair is textured, my words are full of life and just happiness. I'm a bold individual, there's no way you can miss me. I come from bold women, I come from a bold lineage, I come from people who are not ashamed of who they are and speak their truth. And that's my brand, it's bold, it's big, it's inviting, it's love, it's here, it's bold like you not gonna miss us so that's why I chose that word because it embodies me it embodies who I come from and it embodies my brand my props are my clothing my props are my bangles my props my beautiful locks my rings I am a fashion girl but I am very methodical about the things that I pick. I love working with artisans, people who make things with their hands because they're storytellers. And I had a story that I wanted to tell with this dress when I went to my dressmaker and he brought it to life. I wanted to be elegant. I wanted to be very funky. I wanted to be long. I wanted to be 
all the things and he took that and created the story with this dress. Um, my bangles, they're actually made from a, a woodworker in Africa. And I told him, I love bangles. I'm giving you creative control and just do the things. And he came out with these beautiful bangles. So um, I'm also a treasure hunter. I love going and looking for treasures. And I found this treasure um, at a beautiful thrift store in Denver. And I got it for myself on my birthday. It's my birthstone. And it's just costume jewelry, but like I said, I'm bold and I'm fun. And this is my treasure that I found. So these are my accessories. These are my props. This is who I am. I'm a lot of things, but they're good things. It is a mixture of, I would say, peace, life, um, hmm and boldness, <laughs> going back to that word. Uh, life, because I have a lot of plants and I love plants because they teach me a lot about life. They teach me to be patient. They teach me that a little bit goes a long way. It teaches me that um, if you maintain it, it will do very well. But also when the leaves die, it's just time to let go and to make space for new things. So that is a beautiful lesson that my plants teach me. Um, tranquil, I like my space to be very at peace. That is my place that I go home to decompress. And I have great books, I have incense and candles and statues and pictures from amazing artists that just take me to another world and just bring me at peace. And it's bowls because I like color, I like fixtures, I like all the crazy things that I get from my travels because I do travel quite often. So it's just all these things that just make me who I am and it's a great balance for me. So that's my, that's my interior design style. I am excited about this event. I am excited to be a part of the panel. I am excited to introduce people to my brand and my mission, which is to support artisans from across the diaspora. I am a stylist, but I'm also a storyteller, and I do that through my clothing and my accessories. So I'm excited to talk to people and let them know a little bit about what I do and a little bit more about you know the continent that I'm working with and the people that I'm working with. So I'm really excited to work with other women who are doing amazing things in the community. And I think it's a beautiful way for us to connect so we can keep on building. And I know it's gonna be a spectacular event. There's gonna be amazing people there. So I'm excited to be a part of this.